Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about creating content on your Hexo site. At this point in the tutorial, we have created this empty Hexo project. So all I've done so far is just create this empty Hexo project. I haven't added any content. I haven't done anything to it. So this is the bare bones Hexo project. And I want to draw your attention to this source folder right here. If I click down, you'll see that inside of this source folder, there is another folder called underscore posts. And inside of this post folder, there's this hello world dot markdown file. This underscore post folder is a very special folder in Hexo because this is the folder where you're going to store all of the blog posts that you're going to write or really any of the uh, posts that you write. They don't necessarily have to be blog posts. Right now, by default, we have one file in here. It's hello world markdown. And you'll see that this is just a, a basic markdown file. There's a bunch of text in here. I'm going to draw your attention to the Hexo website. And I'm going to go to the home page of the website. And on the home page, the hello world markdown post has been rendered. And so there's this little card on the home page for this hello world markdown file. And by default, this Hexo theme that we have is going to display all of the blog posts that are inside this post folder on the website. So the question becomes, how can we create our own blog posts that will get displayed on the website? The way we do that is by using the Hexo command line interface. I'm going to open up a new terminal window. And you want to make sure that you're inside of the directory that your Hexo project is inside of. So I'm just going to check to see which directory I'm at. And if you're not at that directory, you want to make sure that you move into it. So I'm going to move into that directory. And we want to use the Hexo command line interface to create our new page. I'm going to type out Hexo. And then I'm going to type out new. And then I want to type out the name of the page that I want to create. So what's the name of the blog post that I want to make? Let's just say that it's A. Click Enter. And Hexo will go do a bunch of stuff. And over here in this post folder, you'll notice that we have this new markdown file called a.markdown. So by default, Hexo created a markdown file for us. And this doesn't have any content in it. But if we go over here to our website, I'm just going to refresh the page. And you'll notice that this a post has now shown up on the home page. And so all I had to do was run that Hexo new command and this a post automatically showed up here. If I add in some markdown, so I'm just going to add in a little bit of content to this file and I refresh the page. Uh, the theme does everything for you. So any content that you put inside here, any of your information in your file is automatically going to get rendered on the site. And in addition to showing your page on the home page, Hexo will also create a default page for this uh, post. So if I click on this link right here, it'll bring me to 2017-09-13. And that refers to the date that this blog post was created. And then there's this uh, A file. So that just represents the markdown file that we created. So all of the blog posts that you create, you want to create them using this hexo new A or file name command. And then you want to just add your content and then it's ready to go. So as long as you're using a hexo theme, then that's all you have to do to create content on your website. In addition to creating blog posts, however, you can also create other types of pages and other types of uh, content on your website. And another type of content that we can create are drafts. So if you're working on a new blog post and you don't want to publish it to your site just yet, you can actually create a draft of that page. And the way that we do that is by coming down to this command line and we're going to type hexo new. And now instead of typing the file name, I want to type out draft and then I want to type the file name. So we're just going to call this one B. By default, Hexo will automatically create a blog post. It's automatically going to create a file that goes into that post folder. And when we just ran this Hexo new command, that's what it did. But you can also ask Hexo to build a different type of page. So there's different types of page in Hexo. There's blog posts, but there's also draft pages. And so if you want Hexo to create a page that's not a blog post, you can just type out the type of page you want to create here, in our case, draft. And now when I run this command, Hexo will create a new folder inside this source folder called underscore drafts. And inside is this b.markdown file. 
Now, I wanna point out that this is a draft, which means Hexo is gonna treat it differently from a post. If I come over here to my website and I refresh the page, the new file that we just created isn't showing up. This b.markdown file is not showing up, and that's because it's a draft. If you want to have your markdown files that are in this drafts folder show up, the way that you can do that is by running a special command with the Hexo server. So I have this terminal window right here, and this is running my Hexo server. I'm gonna shut this down, and if I want Hexo to render the pages on my site that are drafts, I can just type out Hexo server and then two hyphens and then draft. And this will tell Hexo, hey, I wanna see how the draft pages look on my website. Now when we refresh this page, the B markdown file is gonna show up. So that's just a little tip on using this Hexo server. When you're ready to publish your draft page onto your website, there's a, another simple command that we can use and it's just hexo publish and then the name of the draft page. So in our case, it's B. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna take that B file and it's gonna move it out of the drafts folder and it's gonna move it inside of this post folder. So working with drafts and then working with normal posts can be a really good way to organize your content, organize uh, which content is supposed to be live on the site and which content you want to uh, keep working on. Now, in addition to creating drafts and creating posts, we can also create a third type of page on our website, and that's just called a normal page. So everything that's in this post folder and everything that's in this drafts folder are considered blog posts, right? They're considered like content posts on your website but you can also just create like a normal page on your website. So the difference would be, imagine you had a blog post on your website and you had an about page on your website. The about page on the website, it's not necessarily a blog post, it's more of just like a normal page, right? So Hexo will allow you to create files like that as well. And the way that we do that is just by coming down and we can type Hexo new and now instead of typing draft, we would just want to type page. And then I'm just going to call this C. So now Hexo goes out and instead of creating a blog post, it's going to create a C folder. And there, here's this new folder right here. It's called C. And inside of it, there's an index.markdown file. And so all the content that you want to put on this C page is going to go inside of this index.markdown file. Over on the website, when I refresh the page, you'll notice that that C file is nowhere to be found. It doesn't show up on the homepage. If we wanna access it, we can go directly to it by typing forward slash C. And now we're on this C page. So the C page, again, it's not a blog post and therefore it's not gonna get rendered on the homepage as a blog post. So you know it's not gonna be shown to your users on the homepage. C is just like a normal page and therefore you need to access it directly using its URL. So those are the three basic types of pages that you can create, just a normal page, a blog post, and then a draft of a blog post. And I wanna show you guys one more thing that's really gonna help you out if you're using Hexo. And basically what it has to do with is controlling what the default page that gets created is. If I come down here and I type out Hexo new and I don't specify a uh, type of page and I just say like D, Hexo is just gonna create a blog post, right? It's, it doesn't care about creating a page, doesn't care about creating a draft, it just wants to create a post. If you wanna change that, you can actually change it inside of this config.yaml file. So inside this file, we wanna scroll down until we get to the section on writing. And inside this writing section, there's this option here for default layout. And right now this is set to post, but let's say by default, I always want all of my new pages to become drafts, right? So I can modify this config.yaml file and now I'm just gonna restart, or now I'm just gonna try to create a new hexo file. So we'll say hexo new and we'll call this one, uh, we'll just call this one E. And now instead of creating that E file inside of this post folder, Hexo created it inside of this drafts folder. And so you can do that for a draft, you can do that for a page, and that will kind of allow you to control how content gets created on your Hexo project.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.